Right now, a part of your brain is deciding whether to keep watching or switch to something easier. This calculation happens thousands of times a day, and it's destroying your ability to do anything meaningful. What if I told you this same mechanism could be hacked? That discipline could feel as good as scrolling? This isn't motivation, this is neuroscience. And by understanding how your brain works, you'll learn why willpower has always failed you, and what to do instead. The problem. Your brain is hacked. Your brain is an economist. It's constantly asking one question. What's the best return on energy investment? High effort, uncertain reward, the brain hits the brakes. Low effort, guaranteed pleasure, green light. This isn't a character flaw, it's a survival program. The problem is, your ancient brain is living in a modern world designed to exploit it. Every app, every snack, every click is engineered to give you pleasure with zero effort. Your brain isn't broken. It's been hacked. The science, the dopamine trap. You have a motivation engine in your head. It runs on a fuel called dopamine. But dopamine isn't the pleasure chemical. It's the wanting chemical. Dopamine spikes when you anticipate a reward, not when you get it. That's why scrolling is so addictive. Every swipe might show you something interesting, so your brain floods you with dopamine to keep you searching. But here's where it gets dark. When you get too many easy dopamine hits, your brain adapts. It's called down-regulation. Your dopamine receptors literally decrease. The brain is turning down the volume on satisfaction. Now you need more stimulation to feel the same interest. A book feels boring. A workout feels impossible. You're not losing discipline. You're experiencing a tolerance effect your brain has been recalibrated to expect instant reward, and real achievement can't compete with that. The solution, the dopamine detox. What can be broken can also be fixed. Your brain is constantly rewiring itself based on what you do. What is a dopamine detox? You're not getting rid of dopamine. You're removing the artificial, hyper-stimulating sources of it. Imagine your dopamine system is a dimmer switch cranked to maximum. Normal light now looks like darkness. A detox is about turning down that dial so your brain remembers what normal feels like. When you remove easy pleasure, something amazing happens. Your receptors become more sensitive. Activities that seemed boring start to feel engaging. The satisfaction of a finished task, the energy after a workout, these natural rewards start to register again. You're not becoming someone new, you're returning to your factory settings. How to get through withdrawal. Most people fail because they rely on willpower alone. But willpower is a finite resource. You need to understand the transition period. For the first few days, you'll feel restless and irritable. This is not weakness. This is withdrawal. The discomfort is a sign that the process is working. Your brain is recalibrating. This phase is temporary. Most people quit right before the breakthrough because they think they're doing something wrong. But that restlessness is your brain fixing itself. Push through it. A practical guide. Here's what you need to do. Step one, identify your targets. Find your highest dopamine activities. Not what you enjoy most, but what requires the least effort for the most stimulation. For most people, this is their phone. Social media, short form video, games. That's your target. Step two, set a time frame. You don't have to quit forever, just temporarily. Pick a duration. Three days is minimum. Seven is better. Fourteen is transformative. Step three, replace, not just remove. Nature abhors a vacuum, so does your brain. When you take away easy dopamine, you must deliberately engage in activities with slower rewards. Read a physical book, cook a meal, go for a walk without headphones, have a real conversation. It will feel boring at first, but as you persist, your brain starts anticipating these activities too. You are literally retraining your reward system. Pleasure versus satisfaction. There's a difference between pleasure and satisfaction. Pleasure is immediate and fleeting. It comes from the outside. Satisfaction is delayed and lasting. It comes from within, from effort. Modern life bombards us with pleasure but leaves us empty. A detox shifts your focus from seeking pleasure to building satisfaction. And satisfaction produces more dopamine over time than pleasure does. When you do something difficult, your brain rewards you with a cocktail of neurochemicals. It's the deep contentment that comes from discipline, and it's far more powerful than any notification. Discipline stops being a battle and starts feeling like your natural state. Your attention span will expand. You'll feel a clarity of thought. You'll have more energy. And most surprisingly, you'll start getting excited about things that used to feel like chores. This isn't a one-time fix. Your brain will always drift toward easy rewards. 
The key is to design your environment. Make distractions hard to access and make good habits easy to start. Delete the apps, put the phone in another room, lay out your gym clothes the night before. And here's my final challenge. Don't just watch this video, make one decision right now. What's your single biggest source of empty dopamine? Identify it and commit to removing it for the next seven days. Write it down in the comments, make it a public promise. You'll realize you weren't meant to be a slave to algorithms, you were meant to do hard things and to love doing them. Your brain is ready to be rewired. The only question is, are you ready to do it?